I'm not sure if I want to join. If you join us, you'll be putting yourself at great risk. We don't want anyone having regrets later. So I need a yes or no. Join the railroad? I'm not convinced. I'm just not sold. Who else we got? Do we have to faction it? Uh, we go free? A response would be appreciated. It just, they just seem a bit mental. I'm not interested in joining right now. Yeah. Understood. The offer is still open, though. Oh, no. Shades. The mechanic jumps is not bad. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor, but I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. What kind of robot are you? I am heavily modified, but at my core, I am an Assaultron. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. They must be targeting you for some reason. Probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turing, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision if to only. leave. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's... The mechanist. The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench. This is so it. you have additional See, resources deal for a deal. this undertaking. I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vocal registry to express my gratitude. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. God damn I will it. follow and assist with your permission. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Dog me. Good hangman's alley. Everything. So, wait, play Dat Black Devil Volume One. By day, he's a hardworking general cleaning toilets at the local police station. By night, he's a commie fighting superhero. I had to deal with them. He said he didn't have to back in the day. Yeah, it's got Black Devil. He made a mission to drive all the raiders out of the Commonwealth.
Another superhero? Investigate the relay towers. So these robots are just creepily sat here doing nothing. Pre. Oh, okay. At the turbine place. Because, Ada, you're going to be carrying that back then. Another one? Oh, there's quite a lot of them there. Level 10. Not too bad level wise, though. Are you coming for me? You find me as well? No. Hammer, who is actually launching missiles at me. Uh, yeah, let's get some health back, shall we? Hey, Hammer. Bud. She going for it. I like her style. I like your style. You really went ham on that. Ah. Read Richie's note. Miss Richie's note. Richie's note. Richie's note. What did you have to say about yourself for, Richie? Old oh man, old oh man. I should never have helped Connie with that radio. Now he's done for. I was in the bushes when he took him. One of them said they were taking him to the top of that old police bureau across the river. It sounds like they wanted to interrogate him. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I can upload stars and stripes, but Connie still has the tape with the other music in it. He's so clever, though. Maybe you can find a way out. So we're going on a rescue mission. Load holotape into the relay tower. Didn't I already go to one of these things? Why should we have to take a quick nap? Are they gonna respawn a fusion call for me? Yeah. We did clear if I this. had access to a vacuum modification, I could make this place shine. Oh, you want to be a cleaner bot? We, had a, we did do all of this. We did all of these bits. Okay. But you're right, we didn't do be this careful. bit. It's too dark here. It's accurate for assessment. <sighs> Holy moly. That's a thing. That's a thing. Uh... I suggest we take as much as we can carry. Becoming wonder glue. Notes on the XO2. 
The XL2 Power Armor is a real piece of work designed to fit with most standard mods. It looks a tad bulky due to the additional plating, but the composites are ultra light, so mobility has never been an issue. Also added a few new touches like modifying the Tesla coils, using the T60 to work with the suit. The difference is the framework on the XL2 let me build around the plating. So, without having to strip the base mod, so you can fry the bad guys and still have room for a medic pump. Some servos, hell, even a cup holder of your beer. At least I draw my hair off, installing the electrodes and the uh, pauldrons, but it works. The raiders will be lucky just to lose their hair. My god, I don't this know. This area are. appears to be unsafe. We must proceed with caution. Is it unsafe? How do we get all this back though? This is a full suit, right, with a fusion core in it. So this is just a sprint. This is a straight sprint. Okay, so let me leave my one here. Let's test the let's test the big boy. Oh, that's why there's a power armor station here. So I need to check it actually is stronger than my E grade. But I'm assuming I can just upgrade it the same way I can upgrade everything else. Uh, let's say you should get Kate or whatever her name is. That is like, that's a deflection. If air, if air I've seen a deflection. Oh, we looked at the other side of Big John Savage. This is where I was going to bring the minigun that does 50% damage to Super Mario. At silence, how do you know where that came from? I was just shooting at me. How did you get there? Punish Timmy. <laughs> Please punish Timmy. Block out the bullshit from the, hey, the, the one line. Did you retrieve something from that robot? I did. Have you seen a robot with a brain like that before? No, but my old caravan discovered records about them while we were scavenging military facilities. 
According to my databanks, it's called the Robobrain. Robo it was considered one of the most technologically superior robots ever constructed, but the model never reached full production status. Yeah, it had this interesting tech. Intriguing. Let's examine it. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo-brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Are you sure? While there's only a 78.3% chance that I'm correct, I'd like to point out that it's the only lead we have. What is that? Sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a robot workbench robot to ensure workbench. proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Nice. So we got a better robot bench. Punish the child. Please, punish the child. Intervention note was that. Hank, you've been eating a lot of that food paste that we got from Suffolk School. It's affecting you like in a real bad way, man. Drop the paste? What the hell? There's a bunch of paste at the school. You're a bit of a dum dum. Heads up. Yes, sir. Are you ready to install the radar beacon? Yes. It's time. It's Let's time. do this. Good. The installation should be simple. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. Roger. Is this you trying to walk into the thing? Hmm. Honestly, take all the time around. All the time. Just honestly, I've got all day. I've got all day. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, just, you know, at your pace. I love my big daddy power armor. Hey, to get in the thing. Ooh. Hey. Okay, she's got radar beacon. So head. Salt on head. Head laser. Robot expert. Oh, damn. Woohoo!